Welcome back to Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the fields, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I love how this one starts. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Who knows the Michael W. Smith song? We all grew up on that one, right? That's where he got those words. And even back then, David and all the people were singing this kind of praise. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. His is the only name that we need to worship in this world. I mean, truly, my friends, he made the universe. And yet, he knows me. He knows the pain I have. He knows the joys I have. He knows the plan for me. I mean, I have a hard enough time. How many of you are moms, like trying to organize your family and have a plan for all just, you know, those small amount of people? He knows the plan for all, was it, five billion people in the world. He knows everything about you and what you're going through. So I hope today you can just remember that, that we need to praise him, how majestic is your name. But at the same time, as big as he is and as everything that he's made, he knows about you and your pain and your plan and your joy. So I hope today you can rejoice in that, that he knows about you and praise his name. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. 